Are you tired of carrying around all those plastic loyalty cards that you use at all the different stores, like different pharmacies or supermarkets? Well, we got a solution for you to put them all on your mobile device. This works on Android as well as iPhone. Here on the iPhone, we're going to go to the App Store. We're going to go to Search in the bottom right, and then we're going to uh, type in here. We're going to type Stow Card. And this is not a paid promotion, it's just an app that we use quite a bit. Uh, in your case, you're most likely going to see the word get here on the right. It's this uh, little icon, we're just going to hit, you'd hit get. In my case, I'm just downloading it fresh on this phone. And that's all you need. So we're going to go ahead and tap on open here. And it is starting up. And the nice thing here is it loads up a lot of the common pharmacies and grocery stores and just other shops uh, that you might go to. The list is extensive. If we hit the little plus in the top right, you'll notice a huge list here. It just goes on and on. The stores that they support. And pretty much what it's going to do is it's going to ask you to scan the QR code or barcode on the back of your existing card. So here just as a quick test we're going to use the Walgreens card and once we click that it's going to ask if you want to allow it to use a camera. We're going to say okay and we're just going to scan a QR code from the computer and we're going to also when you first set it up it's asking if you want it to send you notifications. Um, you can do that if you wanted to use the tracking solution so um, for now we're just going to hit don't allow but it does have a feature where you can actually uh, have the, the cell phone know where you're at and then pop up the existing card for you and it's kind of nice but it's a little bit of uh, big brother so you might not want to do that but then once we finish the scan of the card it's already in there there's a couple things you can do in here we can add some notes if we wanted to uh, we can also add a picture, which means we can actually just take a physical picture of the front and the back of the card if you want. Um, you just do it in here and use the camera. And it's kind of nice like if you have some membership information on the card and you just want to hold on to it. Um, and as you can tell here, it's already searching for coupons, which is an extra feature um, that I don't use, but it's pretty nice. And now just to show you how it works, all your cards start loading up in the bottom and you can just, when you get to the store and you're about to check out, you just tap on the Walgreens one and then give this to the cashier or sometimes they have a scanner ready to go. You can just scan and just like you would with the card and you're all set. Um, another nice thing would be to hit these three dots in the top right. Go ahead and you can share the card with a family member. That way they can just get it electronically and use it. Um, you can also then quickly edit to your Apple Wallet if it's supported. Not every type is uh, able to be loaded into the Apple Wallet, but Walgreens is one of them that does support it. So you could just tap Add to Apple Wallet here. And then it's going to show kind of like this with the Walgreens logo and say Stow Card with the customer ID number and the barcode. We're just going to hit Add. So now, instead of having to even use the Stow Card app, uh, we can just go to the wallet and you should be able to then see this Walgreens card is ready to go right here on the Apple Wallet. You have the ability to add as many as you need and then on top of that you can either use the app or the Apple Wallet. And to go back to the topic that we were mentioning earlier where you can actually um, be alerted, it's this question here. It says you could be notified about new offers and would you like to enable that? So that will shoot offers to you sometimes based on where you're located. Uh, if you go to account as well, you can um, log in and save all your credentials which is probably a good idea if you start losing the physical cards. And then this is the setting with those notifications where it'll detect where you're at, um, you know, as good as it can. And when you're near your favorite store, the card will pop up or the um, 
that specific card will pop up. So you can turn that on, it's up to you. Um, again, we use this a lot, it just helps prevent you from carrying all the plastic cards around or those little key fobs that get annoying on your keychain. And hopefully this helps and share this with your friends or colleagues. And don't forget to like and subscribe and turn on notifications so that you can learn about more tips and tricks just like this one. Thanks.